Hello Nintendo fans! Welcome to Cubity's video review of the new Nintendo 2DS console. It's not a replacement, it's not a successor, but it is a new addition to the Nintendo 3DS family. It plays all DS games and 3DS games in 2D. Now, we will start with the actual hardware itself. It's very robust, it's a lot smaller than one may think. It's a brand new shape, it's more reminiscent to the Nintendo Game Boy Advance generation and Game Boy style designs. Now it's a more budget friendly, yet still maintains the high quality Nintendo finish, Nintendo build and Nintendo hardware design. Now we'll start with the face buttons. You've got your regular C-stick or analog stick if you like to call it which is very much the same as the Nintendo 3DS and 3DS XL design. You've also got your D-pad. Now this one, whilst it may be the same size, it actually is a little bit more fluffy, a little bit more sort of less loose um, than the 3DS and 3DS XL hardware. Now that may not be game breaking by any means, but some people do like their um, hardware buttons to be a very precise way. So you've got your regular A, B and X, Y buttons. Now this time they've got a matte finish, more like the Nintendo 3DS XL. And they've also got slight indents, which may make them a little bit harder to read compared to the Nintendo 3DS. You've got your start and select buttons below. You've also got your nice chunky power switch, um, little LEDs for power and charging. And on the base of the console, you, we've got a home button, You've got a 3.5 inch headphone jack, which is useful for all sorts of headphones. Get your beats on. You've also got your sleep switch, which sort of plays into the new design. Now you'll probably notice that it doesn't fold. So unlike your Nintendo 3DS, which folds into a nice clamshell design, it is a slate or tablet style approach. So I can actually try and bend this, but it will probably break the thing. So we will not do that. So because of this, the console can't be put to sleep. So here on a Nintendo 3DS, because it's closed, it's in sleep mode. So it can receive downloads, it can pause your game and generally hibernate until you're ready to open it once more. But because you can't do that, you can't fold it on the Nintendo 2DS. It's got a little toggle here, which will essentially put it to sleep. So we'll do that, like that. And then when we flick it back, it's live again, ready to play. Now the great thing is that this switch is quite tough. It, will, it has a little bit of resistance, so you won't accidentally flick it during the middle of a game. Now on the left side, we've got a nice little volume toggle. Now because it isn't grooved so much, it is a little bit actually trickier to flick that switch. It's got some resistance, which isn't very useful. Um, on the right side, you've got your SD card slot, which is a flick open slot compared to the 3DS and 3DS XL, more like the Wii U SD switch. It also comes with a 4GB SD card. Here you've also got your little stylus jack, a regular size stylus. Fits in very nicely and it's quite a useful position actually. Well, if you're right-handed anyway, just flick the switch and there we go. And on the front of the console, we've got a power jack, which supports all Nintendo 3DS adapters, but fortunately, the Nintendo 2DS does actually come with one. You've got a game cartridge slot. You've got your IR uh, infrared strip at the top. And probably one of the standout parts of the Nintendo 2DS console is actually the lovely, very, very comfortable shoulder buttons. Now, they actually fit into the grooves of your fingers like so. So it's easy to trigger off, fire those enemies down or sidestep or whatever you want to do in those games. It also launches the camera, as you can see here. So, unfortunately, it's got a mono sound, so this isn't too noticeable in certain games. However, you can remedy that by sticking in a pair of headphones for glorious 3D surround sound. Onto the specifications of and software of the console, it runs the exact same system as the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 3DS XL. It's a dual core design, ARM11 with a 400 pixel screen and by 240 on the top, 
and a 320 by 240 touchscreen on the bottom. So we're very much in home territory with the Nintendo 3DS. However, interestingly, it's actually a single screen inside that's just been masked off with a thin strip as a cost saving measure. Quite useful and it actually is very durable. Much like all your Nintendo consoles, it is will take a lot to actually break this. It's very robust, very high quality despite the budget price. So we have a range of applications on the console. We have a Nintendo eShop for downloads. You've got your statistics. You've got the unfortunately recently closed Nintendo letterbox. You've also got Nintendo video to download the latest shows. You can download demos and exchange games with friends. You've got augmented reality, me creator, and so on. It's got a wide range of apps and an internet browser, plus the addition to make notes. It's very much in line with the Nintendo 3DS. Nothing has changed. However, of course, you can't view 3D, but that isn't that detrimental in games. It may be a little bit harder to play certain 3D titles, but it doesn't break the games in any way. It is matte plastic, so it perhaps feels a little bit less a refined compared to your Nintendo 3DS and your Nintendo 3DS XL. However, it does offer a nice sort of fingerprint resistant durable feel that will be very appropriate for young children or just someone that wants a console that does the job well. So to summarize, the Nintendo 2DS is a great console. It plays all your Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 2DS games just in 2D. It is very very comfortable it is light it is durable it may not hit the same notes as the nintendo 3ds xl in terms of huge screens and portability however it does offer fans the chance to play a huge library of great games educational fun and interesting and most importantly compelling games on the system nintendo ds nintendo 2ds nintendo 3ds which one of these consoles would you buy and what games would it play? Well, it can be extremely mind-boggling knowing which console does what. So, we'll start with the original Nintendo DS. Here we have Nintendo DS Lite in pink. It plays all Nintendo DS games in 2D. It does not play 3DS games. However, some versions of the DS console have a little slot at the bottom which supports Game Boy Advance games. Now with the DS, you've got a huge, huge range of games. You've got classic platformers, driving games, racing games, fighting games, educational games, music games, a whole breadth of titles to play and enjoy on the console. Now if you move the DS to one side, you've got the 3DS console. This was released a few years ago and it supports all Nintendo DS games in 2D. However, it also supports a range of games in 3D. Now these 3DS games have the option to flick the switch into full 3D or flick it down and play it in complete 2D. It's flexible and it's entirely up to you how you play the games. Okay, so after that Nintendo released the bigger, the beast, the mammoth, the 3DS XL. It's huge, absolutely huge. And I'm struggling to actually fit it on the screen but it's light it's durable and it's fantastic the screens echo awesome okay so that's the 3ds it's identical to the nintendo 3ds in terms of specifications it just has a bigger screen the nintendo 2ds now the nintendo 2ds plays all nintendo 3ds games in 2d that's right 2d there is no switch on the side to flick into 3D mode. So it's more like your Nintendo DS, however, plays all 3DS games and 2DS games. Brilliant. It's the middle way between a DS and a 3DS. So what about sizes? Well, the Nintendo 3DS is the smallest of the bunch. Nintendo 2DS is slap bang in the middle and the 3DS XL is obviously huge, huge compared to the two. Now the Nintendo 3DS and 2DS share the same screen size. Of course the 3DS can show 3D images, the 2DS cannot. And the, both consoles are almost the same shape. So now if we just extend the 3DS a little bit like so, 
that the 3DS is slightly taller than the 2DS. If we place them right next to each other, like so, you can tell the 3DS is slimmer than the Nintendo 2DS. It of course folds into a clamshell shape for added portability, but the Nintendo 2DS isn't all that much bigger. Now if we put that to one side and bring in the Nintendo 3DS into battle, sorry the XL, you can see that if we open it fully, that the Nintendo 2DS is a lot smaller than the 3DS as you can probably imagine. But some pictures are deceptive and it's actually a lot smaller than it, it makes out to be. Of course the Nintendo 3DS can go into a clamshell mode, bye bye Mario Kart. And there we go. So if we close both consoles and have the Nintendo 2DS next to it, it's probably a lot bigger. Now that we've folded both consoles into its clamshell shape, you can tell that the Nintendo 2DS is a lot bigger because of course you can't fold it. However, there are pouches and cases available so it can simply slip into a backpack without any hassle. And if you've got big, big pockets in your coat, then maybe it will slot in there too. So how does the Nintendo 3DS, 3DS XL and DS compare to other consumer devices? Well, we've got a little smartphone here. We've also got a, an Android 7 inch tablet, which will probably take up most of the screen like so. Just, just pop that on there. And as you can tell, the 2DS isn't all too big. It may look deceptively big from pictures, but in fact, it's probably, yes, it's probably just about two smartphones, average smartphones in width. So we've got a five inch smartphone here. So maybe if you've got two iPhones, just stack them together and that'll give you your 2DS sort of shape and dimension. Now compared to a tablet, a lot of people have said that Nintendo 2DS is a giant slate tablet. It's too big. Well, we've got your average size consumer tablet here. This is actually a lot smaller than an iPad. So if we put this on there, gently does it. Don't want to break this. You can see it's very much smaller, at least three quarters of the size of an in a regular, well, tablet. If we're talking thickness, well, the Nintendo 2DS comes up just about the same size as the Nintendo 3DS and 3DS XL in height. Of course, your iPad or your regular tablet will be a lot thinner than your 3DS consoles. Likewise, a phone will probably be thinner these days than your 2DS and 3DS consoles. However, the clamshell shape and the lightness and durability of the DS and 3DS consoles will certainly stand the test of time, perhaps compared to a tablet. Now, not everyone's gonna chuck a tablet on the floor and, or shove it in the sink. However, these are a lot more fragile compared to the ruggedness of the DS and 2DS consoles. Nintendo 3DS has come leaps and bounds since its launch in 2011. There are now three different ways to play and join the Nintendo 3DS family. So we hope you've enjoyed our review. If you've got any questions, be sure to post them in the comment section below. Visit us at cubethe.com and subscribe for the latest Nintendo videos and features. Thanks for watching.